kind of like a deserted island, bones. though. <laughs> we survived. Barely. High five, buddy. Wow, that was a close one. Oh, I got so much salt water in my <coughs> eyeballs and in my lungs, and yeah, I that hardly breathe. Big wave of water completely Ooh. caught me by surprise. <laughs> uh, Where are we? Looks like a desert island or something. It doesn't look like anybody lives here. Oh. I can't believe we survived. I mean, first there was the big wave, and then the storm, and then we all got swept overboard, and I wonder where all the crew is. I hope they're okay. Yeah, I hope the crew on the HMS Good News is just fine. Although, I wonder if we'll ever see them again, or if we'll ever we'll get off this island. Oh, no, or... no, 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 don't you know worry, Levi, it's okay. Can we ever leave, be able to leave this island so that we can even tell people about Jesus again? God's going to take care of us. He He keeps us alive. He gave us, a, he gave us a miracle to even get us to this island right now. And that gives us the opportunity to tell other people about Jesus. I mean, if he wanted to take us home, he could have just then, but he kept us alive. So that's good news, right? Yeah, and I remember a Bible story that we just learned about the Apostle Paul, where God kept him safe as long as he needed him to be safe. There were people right. who didn't like what he was saying, so they even tried to kill him. But God told Paul to be courageous because he had a plan for him. He wanted him to tell people about Jesus even a thousand miles away. Exactly right, Levi. And you know what? God kept us alive, and we can be courageous too, don't you think? I think so. Yeah, I me think too. So. so so what do we have here to survive? I mean, what do I have? Hold on. <clears throat> Oh, oh, I got something in my pocket here. I have a Bible, which is great. Oh, but I don't have much. Oh, hold on. Food. Food. Well, all right, I'll give you the bigger one. Thank you. Enjoy it. It might be our last food for a long time. Hmm. Can't believe it stayed dry after all that water. Yeah, how about that? All I have yeah. is this magnifying glass. I was uh, looking at my stamp collection just before I went up on deck and we got washed overboard. You always seem to have interesting stuff in your pockets, Levi. Amazing how it makes things that are look really, really big. Ah! Captain Ben, look out! There's a giant creature that's about to attack you with its claws! Levi, that's not a creature, that's just a little bug. Oh! So you're just looking at it through the magnifying glass. <laughs> things look bigger oh. through a magnifying glass. Hey, yeah, I'll say. <laughs> so, that's okay. You We're scared okay. Me for a minute. We're though. okay. <laughs> but you know what? Having a magnifying glass reminds me of kind of what Paul talked about in the Bible. He said that he wants God to be magnified in his life and him to be made small. That's what Paul said. And you know what? God wants us to magnify Jesus in our lives, too. He wants us to make him look big and not to focus on all the other things. And sometimes when we focus on problems, it makes them look a lot bigger than they are, kind of like you just did. Yeah. That's probably right. No. So, well, um, so you mean like when I see these <coughs> giant footprints, then I shouldn't be scared either? Giant footprints. Those are probably just ours. And besides, you're using the magnifying glass. No, no, they're glass. not ours. They're much, much bigger. Oh, no, it's Levi. You're still using the magnifying glass, remember? Oh. That makes them look a lot bigger than they are. It's <laughs> probably good. just your, your footprint or something. No, no. These aren't ours. They go that way. That way? Yeah. Did you say that way? Mm-hmm. Well, we should go check them out. Maybe it's somebody else's on the island. Okay. Maybe it's someone we can tell about Jesus. Maybe. Or maybe it's someone who has more crackers. Maybe. We should go check it out. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Hey there. I'm really glad that you guys decided to join us. Now what you just saw was actually our skit from last week, and we've got a brand new skit for you again today. We're having our Sunday School not on YouTube anymore, but we're moving it to Zoom. So please, I hope that you'll join us Sunday afternoons, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, for our Zoom virtual Sunday School. You'll get to see our new skit, plus get to interact with some of our teachers from Straight Gate and some other exciting things. Now we do need you to register before you join. So if you look in the description, there's a link to a form. You just have to fill out the form, and then once we give you permission to access the course, then you can come and you can join us on our classes on Zoom. So I hope that we will see you there.